Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at Tesla charging at home. So if you're considering a Tesla, whether you're buying new, used, whatever, whatever model, you need to know a few things about charging it at home before you actually get your Tesla. So stay tuned, we're gonna do a quick tutorial and overview of what you need at home to be able to charge your car at home because that's really gonna be the main source of charging. So stay tuned to the video. Okay, so here we are in the garage. We have the Tesla Model S and I wanna just give you a quick overview of Tesla charging in general, and then what you need at home to be able to, to charge your, your your Tesla. So first thing you need to have is you need to have a 240 outlet installed in your garage or outside of your house. So if we see here, this is what a 240 looks like. It's got these four prongs. This is also called a, uh, I don't know if you can see the numbers, it's called a NEMA 1450 outlet. Okay, now this this cord here we have strung along the wall. This is just called the Tesla mobile charger. This is the cheapest and easiest way to charge at your house. Because the car comes with this, with this, this is called the mobile charger. So it's just a, a plug. Now this isn't actually the charger. The chargers are built into the car. This is just a cable to get power into the chargers on the car. So this mobile charging cord comes with the car. So there's a couple of different adapters. If you see here, this, you push this button, this will come off. But this is the outlet that you would use. So you'd have your electrician just install a two, 240 volt, and then this is this is a 50 amp. You can it can be 40 amp, it can be 50 amp. More amps is going to give you a little ch faster charging. So the reason why I kind of have this strung along the wall is this was about as far over as we could get it. My my. Uh, electrical panels down in my basement behind this wall down there this is about as far as we could get it because the house ends about right here so this is as far over as we could get it so just have your electrician come out and look so you basically tell them you need a 240 volt 50 amp outlet this is the standard outlet. this is like a dryer outlet that they would put in so your tesla mobile charger will come with this plug and basically you just plug into this Okay, you plug that into there. And then you can use this mobile charger. All cars should come with this. If you're buying a used one, make sure it's coming with the used cable here. All right. And then it'd be ideal, it would, it would, it would be ideal if that outlet was all the way over here. Because on Tesla's, the charging port is on the driver's side rear. Okay. So in my garage here, you want to make sure that you're that you have a wall next to the driver's side because that's where you would install your stuff here. Now you can buy what's called the Tesla wall charger. It's over five hundred dollars on the Tesla website, but that would be like it would be like hardwired instead of having this outlet here. It'd be like a hardwired device. I'll just show a picture right here, and you know that has its own cable, and you run that there, and then you can keep this in the car in case you have to charge it mobily, like if you're on the go or something. But I think this is the cheapest way to get charging at your home because this cost me about, and it's going to vary by region. This cost me three hundred dollars to get this installed. There wasn't a it wasn't a long run, so it wasn't, and they all had all they had to do was run the wire up in my unfinished part of the basement, and put this plug in. So they charged, charged me $300. He did all the, this electrician did all the other wiring in my house. So I don't know if that's, um, normal, a normal price, but I would say between three and $600, that'd probably cost you to get one of these run in your garage. Probably, you know about that. And then this comes with the car. So you don't have to pay extra for the charger. And then the only thing I did is I, I bought this thing off Amazon. This was like 30 bucks or $25. It just holds the, it just holds the, the cable here. And then any excess you can wrap around it. Okay, so now as far as charging goes. Okay, so to charge, we get the handle close to the rear tail light, driver's side rear, rear tail light. We push this button on the charger cord. All right, and that opens up this little port. And when it's, they call this white, but it looks light blue to me. When it's that color, white or light blue, that means it's ready to accept the charge. So you just simply insert the cable push in here until you lock. Now it turned purple for a second. That means it's communicating. And then when it's green flashing, that means it's charging. All right. So now when you're ready to disconnect, now this is the same at a supercharger or any other Tesla charger that has this handle. Okay. When you're ready to drive the car or you want to unplug it, you push down on the button, hold it until it turns that white again. 
Okay, it's white. Now we remove. Okay, and then we just put it back up here on the wall. And then the charging port will close itself. So really, that's pretty, that's pretty simple how to, how to charge it. So that's the same process at a supercharger as it is at home. So I think this, this is the most economical way to charge your, or to get a charger set up at, at your house because this, this charger cord is included. And so really all you need to do is just get an electrician to wire an outlet for you. The 240 volt, you know, have it 50 amps. And, you, and then you just plug this in. Now this charger cable... You can change the, the outlet, you can change the adapter on this. You can change an adapter so that it will plug into a standard 120 volt. So you could charge it like that, but it'd take, you know, two, three days to even to charge it up. It charges at like a four hours, four miles per hour range back in the battery. So it's not worth doing that, but you can if needed. So what I'm going to do is instead of investing in the wall charger, I'm actually going to try to find another one of these mobile chargers just to keep in the car all the time. And then this one's just going to kind of be here at home all the time. And these, these can be had, you can find these for uh, $200, $250. Or you could simply, you don't need an extra one. That's only if you ever needed a charge when you're away from home at someone's house, for example. So really, charging your Tesla at home is really simple once you have the appropriate outlet installed. So I just talked to your electrician and see how much they charge to get this run to your garage. You want it on your driver's side of the car and the, the charger cable is already included. So if you're buying it used, make sure that this cable is included uh, with the car because it was included from new. So anyways, that's just a quick video on some Tesla charging. Hopefully that's helpful. Be sure to subscribe for more great Tesla content and be sure to hit that, that thumbs up button. So thanks for watching.